Now, 800 people squeezed into St Martin in the Fields Church in London this lunchtime to celebrate the life of our wonderful colleague, George Alagaya, who presented this programme for nearly 20 years. George died in July after living with bowel cancer for nearly 10 years. John Kay reports. At the heart of this service was George's migration story. It defined his life and his career. The little boy who left Asia for Africa and then moved again to the UK. He was rather a timid little fellow. His four sisters sharing childhood secrets. He was Simon Templer and James Bond in our make-believe games. He was also our tailor. He would sew all the outfits for our Barbie dolls. In all the tributes, one clear message, that what mattered most to George was family, not fame. Earlier this year, when it became clear just how quickly his illness was progressing, he sat Adam and myself down and asked us to make sure that his three beloved granddaughters, our daughters, one day understand this part of their own stories. Good evening and welcome to the BBC's News at Six. Great reporting is infused with care, with a sense of deep humanity and soul. Just look at his body language. Sitting, kneeling, connecting, literally talking to people on their level. The tragedy unfolding here begs a question. For how long and at what human cost can these camps be sustained? 30, 40, George had all of the talent, the acuity, the commitment, the poise and the grace and the reputation of a high-profile, high-powered television news anchor, but none of the grandeur. Shortly before he died, George dictated a message to his wife, Franny, and it was shared today by one of his closest friends. If you haven't already told the people you love that you love them, tell them. If you haven't already told them how vulnerable you sometimes feel, tell them. You never know what is coming around the corner. It really was a very, very beautiful service and George is much missed by his many friends here in the BBC newsroom.